This is a little update from our European trip. We started our trip off in Paris. Uh, one of the first trips, essentially, that Jarell and I ever took was to Paris. Um, it was work, mostly. He was going to Amsterdam for work, and I was shooting something for Fashion Week in Paris. It was so full on, Fashion Week was so full on, that I was like getting like maybe an hour and a half, two hours of sleep a night. We were only there for three nights, but it was just so intense. The company that I was with, it was their first Fashion Week that they were showing in, and it was just a lot of demands, just like a lot going on. And, um, and yeah, it was, it was amazing, but we, I feel like I was half asleep for the entire time we were there. So we've been back to Paris, um, three times since then, and we've just kind of started to accumulate these places that we love to go that are kind of outside of tourist attractions. They're just kind of these places that we love to revisit, kind of our Paris. And so, um, other than going to the Louvre this time around, um, and, uh, checking out a couple of the, the attractions for the most part we just kind of replayed some of the hits that that we love so we went to this really cool um underground whiskey bar um i don't remember the name um we went back to that which was so nice we went back to this vegan patisserie place a vegan pastry place um which i love i've got a lot of allergies and so it's a place where i can go and just kind of like order what everyone else gets to order at all the other restaurants. There's like a version of that at this place, so I'm able to enjoy that. What else did we do? We did some shopping, we, we walked around, which was really nice. Um, we went from Paris to Antwerp, Belgium. We spent uh, two nights in, in Antwerp. We've been to Belgium before, but we spent um, our time in Brussels last year. And it was really nice to check out a different city this time. We've always heard that Antwerp is so beautiful. So we went there and we spent two nights there. We had a really great time. It's a beautiful city. Um, I did have a hard time finding decaf coffee, which was a bit of a bummer. On the last day, I did find a place that had it. And it was, it was pretty good. Um, we went to this one bar that we loved called Marigold. And that was awesome. We went to the, um, I don't know if it's like maybe the flagship store for Dries, uh, a brand that we really love. Um, I can't say it properly, so I'm not even going to try. But um, that was beautiful to go into the store and like see all of the designs in real life that we've like watched the, the fashion show and, and everything online. It was really cool to see the, the store itself is such a beautiful work of art, but all of the designs were amazing too. So we went there. And then what else did we do? We found this amazing vegan gluten-free um, restaurant. What was it called? It was called Spritz. Um, not everything is gluten-free there. Uh, I think everything is vegan, but um, it was amazing. We actually tried to get a table there the second night, but we couldn't get one. It was so packed. But it was so, 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 so good. Uh, we went from, we spent two nights in Antwerp and then we went to, uh, took the train to Amsterdam. When we got to Amsterdam, we checked into our hotel and kind of got stuff unpacked. We were just gonna like stay in. Drill needed to catch up on work and I needed to catch up on some client work, but also just, I feel like I had been going a, a million miles a minute. And so I just wanted to kind of like get an early night's sleep, eat some shitty food and just like go to bed. So we ordered McDonald's, which we never do. Ordered McDonald's because um, they have gluten-free McDonald's here. So I was able to enjoy like a real McDonald's meal, which was, which was really fun. Um, ate that and went to bed. Got up the next morning and I was, we had decided to move hotels early. We were going to be moving hotels halfway through the trip, but we ended up deciding to move early. Um, and so I was kind of like packing my bag and I realized that at the bottom of my bag were my I had two hard drives with me and one was my older hard drive that had like a lot of music stuff, photo shoot stuff, video shoot stuff for other clients, for myself, all of, all of this stuff on there. I realized it wasn't in my bag and so I kind of frantically started like looking in my suitcase and looking around and trying to see if I could find it. I couldn't find it. And so 
in that little case was was my hard drive and it was also my iLock which for those of you who don't do music or don't use Pro Tools it has all the plugins and effects and all that stuff that I've accumulated over the years auto-tune like all of that stuff and believe me life without auto-tune I mean it's a disaster and so all of that's missing including the hard drive and so I'm kind of like starting to freak out um, and so Drell calls the hotel in Paris and I call the hotel in Antwerp to see if maybe, you know, whoever cleaned the room after we left found it or, you know, something. And so we called, there was no luck in Paris. And I knew that it wasn't in Paris because I had repacked my bag and I knew what was in there. Um, but I had never checked my bag once we were in Antwerp. It was just like sitting on the desk in there, but I did leave it open because I took all my toiletries out of it. Anyways called the place in Antwerp and they were not very helpful, which was annoying. Um, halfway through being on the phone, telling them that the hard drive was missing and you know, the iLock has got a lot of plugins, it's worth a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. I realized, I'm like, oh shit, my camera's gone out of my bag too. <sighs> so my G5 Lumix, like really expensive camera was missing as well. So at that point, I'm like, shit, someone like stole this out of my bag. Anyways, we've sent emails, we've called the hotel, we've tried to like figure out like who maybe had cleaned the room when we were there, all that stuff. We're not really getting a lot of feedback, which is annoying. So my first one or two days in Amsterdam were a bit rough because obviously it was a lot of money, of course, to lose, but it was also a lot of there was a lot of value with what was on the hard drive and what was on the camera. So it's been, it's been really frustrating. We haven't found the camera, we haven't found the hard drive or anything. So it kind of feels like we're shit out of luck at this point, but um, we're here, we're in Amsterdam till next Tuesday. So I kind of woke up yesterday and I was like, okay, I've been sulking for like a day and a half. I need to like enjoy my time here because you know things could be worse um and so i got up and i went to um a cafe a place that i had been to before had breakfast and i decided to do my gratitudes um there and even though i was still kind of frustrated and upset and spiraling from getting all that stuff taken um, I decided to do my gratitudes and I and I wrote down that I was grateful that my laptop didn't get stolen, that my backup hard drive didn't get stolen, that my medication didn't get stolen, because that would have been really difficult. I have a, a heart condition and a swallowing disorder and I have to take medication every day so that I can eat food and so, so that my heart will do what it's supposed to do. So I was really, really grateful that that didn't get taken. Um, and yeah, and my laptop, I mean, that's so expensive to replace, let alone all the shit that's on there that isn't backed up because I'm so bad about that. Um, anyways, so I did that yesterday and I ended up having a really good day. I, I walked around, you know, walked like 12 or 13,000 steps going to all these places that I, I love going to, including this really cool queer bar, um, that's in like the center of the city by Central Station. Went there and had a couple tequilas to drown my sorrows. And, um... And yeah, it, was, it ended up being a really good day. And then today I woke up and went back to this place, this cafe that I really, really love. Um, got a gluten-free, vegan, like Belgian waffle. And so this place called, I think it's called Heart and Garden. I think. Um, it's like such a Zen vibe in there and the food is so good and the service is so great and everybody who's eat, eating there just seems so kind. And I don't know, it's got like a really beautiful energy there. So I went and did that. Um, I went to this museum uh, where uh, at Rembrandt's old house, and so his you know painting studio and everything was inside. I did that. Um, I think tomorrow I'm gonna try to go to the Reich Museum. I've walked around the outside. I've spent time in the gardens, but I've never actually went inside. So I might do that tomorrow because it's supposed to rain. And then yeah, the rest of the trip is just gonna be checking out all of the favorite places that we always come to. There's this really cute bar called Dutch Courage. Um, and we've been there kind of in every season, in the fall, in the spring, in the summer, in the winter. Uh, last time we were here, it started snowing. We were sitting in like this beautiful, like big window at the front of the bar, 
having a drink and it started snowing outside. We're gonna go there this week too, so hopefully it'll be raining so we can experience it while it's raining. And yeah, it's gonna be a good rest of the trip. I'm doing a riding session next Monday, uh, the day before we fly back home to LA. Um, I've been to Amsterdam a lot, but I've never written here before. So it's gonna be nice to, um, to work with someone or collaborate with someone from Amsterdam. I think it'll be really fun. So I'm gonna do that on Monday before we head out. But yeah, it's been a really good trip. Aside from the theft, it's still been a, a really great trip and just trying to be thankful that we have our health and have our safety and that we, um, you know, that those things can be replaced down the line. Certainly not right now <laughs> because I'm a songwriter and you know, it's hard out here, hard out here for an artist. But, um, but yeah, down the line, I'll be able to replace it. I'll work hard to replace it. And um, I just hope that, I guess, whoever stole it needed it, needed it more than I did. That's my check-in. That's my check-in from Amsterdam.